This is Camo, and Camo's about four and a half months old. He's older than Charlie, so he's caught up to Charlie very quickly. They're at the sort of the same point as far as like hold goes, where they'll hold the object, right? They're not really taking it yet, but they'll hold it. And no reflection upon Charlie. When Charlie came here at nine weeks, there's not a lot I can do really do with the dog other than like puppy training until they get about four months old. And then I can start giving pressure. And that's, wow, look at my walls, man. I'm going to bleach these things. It's plastic, right? Can't I just spray it with bleach? I think I can. So there's not a lot you can do until the dog is a certain age. And Charlie's at that age, so they're about neck and neck. Now, Charlie can do some things that Camo cannot do. like And that has to do with puppy training. Um, Charlie can do... Uh, you know, puppy retrieves. He can retrieve a ball for me, but it's it's really bullshit. It's it's bullshit until you teach the dog hold, drop. You know, remember the retrieve is a continuation of hold. So any dog can learn to retrieve. All you have to do is teach them how to hold, and then it's essentially go over there and hold that dog and bring it back. It's a series of steps. So this is an awesome little freak too. He's he's great. This guy's. Very nice, Camo. So, um, Camo will do hold pretty good. Watch this. If he drops it, I'll pick it up real quick and put it back in Camo's mouth. Camo, now, here, sit for the camera. Sit. Hold. 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 No hold. Good boy, hold. What are you doing? You can't jump off the table, dude. Come here. He kept it in his mouth. Sit. Sit. We'll try that in a minute. Do this right now, okay? Hold. Hold. No. No. Hold. Hold. Still at the point where we're still petting him when he's holding the object. Where Charlie, I can step back. No. Hold. No barking. How are you going to bark with that in your mouth, buddy? He can do it. Drop. Quiet. Hold. Hold. So see, Charlie's just a little bit farther ahead. I can not be touching Charlie. Right. No. But Camo, get it. Good boy, Cammy. Come on. Hold. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Hold. 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 Hold your head up. Hold. Hold. Drop. No. Drop. Oh, you got it good now. Drop. Do it again. Hold it real good like that. Hold. Hold. No. Hold. Hold it real good. That's sideways. Put it in your mouth like that. There you go. No. 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 Hold. 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 Massage in his ears. Hold. Drop. No. Drop. Good boy. Good boy, Cammy. This is Charlie, and Charlie's about 15 weeks old, and we have been giving him some pressure now, and it's really having a positive effect upon Charlie. He's doing great. He can do hold a little bit better than Camo. Um, keep in mind that I've been working with Charlie since he was nine weeks old. So, sit. He's much more responsive now that he's on an e-collar, that's for sure. Sit. Here, hold. No, hold. Hold. No. Lift your head up, Charlie. Don't do that. All right, King. Hold. Hold. No. Hold. Put your head up. 
hold. Drop. So he's he's getting that. Now the next step is to get him to uh, take it out of my hand, right? So once he starts doing that, he starts going for it, which he's already sort of does in a puppy way. If I hold it out and have him go get it, he'll retrieve it out of my hand. But that's that's excitement. We're using excitement for him to do that. We need him to do it as a command. In other words, if I throw a retrieve to Charlie. He will go get the object just because we've built up all this energy and just sort of like, you know, by happenstance, things are going in his mouth more often than camo. So do you understand? It's not, it's still not a command at that point. So we have to train Charlie that hold means he, he goes and gets this. He puts it in his mouth and holds it until I tell him to drop. It's an implied stay like everything else. Charlie Geese. Can you imagine Charlie Goose hunting? Better knock him down. <laughs> you know, if the goose is still alive, it might get little Charlie. Charlie! Sit. Charlie. No, hold. Hold! Hold. No, hold. That's good, Charlie. His little tail's wagging. Charlie. Hold. Drop. Good boy. Sit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. He's got this portion of it down. We'll keep doing this, of course. Uh, we do multiple sessions throughout the day of hold. Um, and we're, we're going to start working on him to, you know, take it more, which he just did take it. Hold. Hold. It's good. Hold. Drop. Now, one of the, one of the things that it's also been harder with Charlie, um, is that Charlie's teething and he's been teething the whole time. So we still need him to get to, you know, we still need him to do this, you know, but look, it's sometimes he's like a little alligator. Look at Charlie. God, I can squeeze this little freak. He's squeezing me again real tight. Look at me. I'm a bird dog. I can fly. Look at him. Carrying him like a sausage roll. Look at his little tail. Tail. Wag, wag your little tail for everyone, Charlie. Here, give me a little kiss. Yes, Charlie. Put me down. Put me down, Kane. And Charlie. He's a little freak. Kane, your wall's really fucking dirty. I'll clean it for ten bucks. Charlie's gonna clean off my wall for ten bucks, he said. I changed my mind. Fifteen. Sit. Sit, Charlie. Sit. Charlie, hold. No, hold. 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 Lift your head up, Charlie. No, hold. Don't do that. Hold. Hold. No, hold. Now, Charlie's got this a little bit better than camo, but camo is very close. Drop. They're very, very close. Can't, they're sort of neck and neck now. Camo's a little bit older. But Charlie's spent more time with me, you know, so it's very close. Charlie! I'm gonna bite your face off, Kane. Ow, he's got me by the hair. There's Bigfoot right up on this fucking hill up here. Do you see up there? Can you see them?